Hey, Shlua Meshalom, with the Star of Souls, but give no praise to you about Shem El Shai, but Shem Agakudash, that belong to the apostles of GMS, and all of the balls in the work, the most on truth and sincerity. So, quick one, uh, would you call it? It's actually a couple of days old now, it's from August 31st. Uh, today is September 3rd. Um, yes, yeah, so as you, as you see here, Right, it says 94% of Americans who died from COVID-19 had contributing conditions from the CDC. Right, so from the New York Post, I believe that to be more of a, I have no idea. I, I don't know who it's aligned to. Um, what do you call it? Gone are the days where you can just get news. But I mean, that's why I prefer Reuters. Reuters, you don't you don't get any of this, uh, you know, bipartisan by uh would you call it meaning two partisan basically mean you know you do two party kind of um you know it's not like cnn or fox where one's aligned to the dems and one's aligned to uh, uh would you call it to republicans so i like you know reuters sometimes you just want news right none of the other bs on top right um uh which cook especially when you've got like stats and things like that with stats you can uh, 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 you know, tweak stats. Anyway, hey, anyone who's ever worked in a company that does marketing, you know, internally they use stats and tweak stats to basically, um, you know, achieve a purpose, right? You know, the stats could actually say one thing, but actually, you know, uh, marketing will spin it to say something else, right? You know, scriptures talk about how, um, you know, this man E is, is a liar, right? In fact, let's, um, while we're here, let's just grab that man, right? Uh, this is I Psalms fifty eight and three, right? It says the wicked are strained from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, right? So as soon as these devils come out, man, they be lying, man. Right? That's just in their spirit, right? That's that's how the Most High has made them, right? There was a study that came out a while back, which basically said, you know, uh, you get more further in this world if you're a good liar. Right, and of course, that's this man's kingdom, right? It's all built on lies, right? But you know, it goes into something else. But let me let's let's get into this. 94% of Americans who died from COVID 19 had contributing conditions. CDC, right? So, 94% of Americans who died from COVID had other types of health conditions and contributing causes in addition to the virus, according to a new CDC report. It says using provisional data on coronavirus related deaths from the week ending February 1st through August 22nd, the CDC uh, concluded last week that for that for six percent of deaths, corona was the only cause mentioned. So let's take a pause here, All right? So this man, uh, uh, you know, just looking at it from a from a carnal perspective, right? Just looking at it from a carnal perspective. This man has uh, destroyed the economy. He's destroyed people's livelihoods. He has killed people that would have otherwise uh, 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 sought medical attention, but were too afraid to go to the hospital, right? So then, would you call it now looking at it from a spiritual eye? Why would he do such a thing, right? Because... He is getting ready to wrap, rather, the, the Lord is putting the spirit in him to get ready to wrap up this show, right? Because how is it that us, you know, us, we, we haven't got any, you know, some brothers might, you know, have degrees in biology and, you know, viro, you know study of viruses, of thing, virology, I think, I think, I think is what, I don't know, um, but all of, uh, microbiology, rather, right, Into, and, and all of this sort of stuff. Right, but for the most part, how was it we were able to be like, nah, this corona ain't no big deal. Right, but all these major governments came out like, oh, it's the worst thing that's ever happened. Closed down, ruined the airline industry, ruined the tourism industry, ruined people's lives. Right, we know it's because he's getting ready to shut this show down. Right, and this here is just put further proof of that. Right. For deaths with conditions or causes in addition to COVID-19, on average, there were 2.6 additional condition, uh, co conditions or causes per death, right? So for all, for 96% of all corona deaths in America, right, they had 2.6 other reasons why they died.
But this man ain't the devil, right? Because the word devil means deceiver, right? Um, this is deceived. Um, is that, am I spot that right? Deceived and deceiver. This is Job twelve sixteen. It says, "With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his." Right. So those that are. Uh, 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 you know that fall for Esau's lies because people will come back and say, "Yeah, but you know, them people would have otherwise been a alive today." This, that, and the other, blah, blah blah blah. Look, man, when you look at, for instance, uh, uh, Sweden's issue uh, cases, the majority of the people that died there were were very elderly people, right? There was uh, information that came out, um, you know, from basically the UK basically saying the last couple of years, the UK had a pretty mild wind, uh, uh, flu season, right? Which, you know, not to be you know, uh, rude or callous or anything, right? But basically meant that there was an excess of old people, right? Which basically meant the next serious flu season would have killed a lot of old people. Right, but Esau doesn't care. Esau's got an agenda to push, and you use anything possible to push said agenda. Now, am I saying that you know they, he's not going to release one of his pathogens, uh, you know, out this winter? I don't know. They laws will, right? You know, as a, to echo the state sentiment, that Apostle uh, uh, Ramlam says, oh, "Look, man, Esau, hurry up, man. We know it's going to be a bumpy road, right? But that's why we pray that the Lord gives us the ability to." Uh, you know, it gives us the shock absorbers. Let me put it like that. Gives us the shock absorbers to go through and 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 get out the other end, right? But Esau just needs to hurry up and do what he's got to do, man, right? But this this is Job twelve sixteen again. With him, it's strength, the wisdom, the deceived, and the deceiver are his, right? So the deceiver is his. So the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is using Esau to deceive these people because ultimately we know. Uh, uh, how, where this is going to end, right? There's been a large push for digital this, digital ID that, right? Which we know that ultimately leads to this one thing. This is um, Revelation 13 and 16, right? Which says, and he calls up all, right? So everyone, both small and great, your regular Joe, to your celebrity, rich and poor, right? You know, your Jeff Bezos to, to us regular folks down here. Right, free and bond, asked that they're able to walk around uh, freely, quote unquote, and those in the prison houses to receive a mark. The word mark there is karagma in the Greek, right, which uh, goes into incision and imprinted mark, right, basically something that is put inside you, right, it says in their right hand or in their forehead. So basically, in either your hands or in your foreheads. And if you notice, they've been uh, uh, getting people accustomed to that with the temperature scanning, right, basically having a reader pointed at, their, at your forehead. Right, Apostle Taha posted a video where they were also using your wrist uh, to uh, check your temperature. Right, but what's that doing? Once again, that is getting people accustomed to all of this uh, scanning of body parts. Right, for instance, you know, you already have the Apple Watches and all of the smart watches which you can pay. So people are used to, you know, tap, tap, going. Right. Um... But yeah, uh, so yeah, it says um, three months receive a mark in, that, uh, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. And this further helps us understand what this is gonna, what what this will be, right? It's in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without this mark of the beast, the chip, why well, the RFID microchip, you ain't gonna be able to do anything, right? And it's very easy for you to just change up the laws to require that, All right? Once again, our example I always give. Right, uh, what would you call it? Um, when you move property in the UK, right? Let's say you want to rent, you know, you 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 want to you know rent somewhere or buy something. The first thing you got to do, you got to now prove, right, to the authorities, right, that you have the legal right to be in the country. You got to, you know, uh, 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 what would you call it? You got to uh, bring up your, <clears throat> the what do you call it? You got to bring up your. Uh, your passport or you know whatever visa you might have that basically proves that you can be in the United Kingdom before they can even uh, rent out to you now the problem with that system is the one that gets in trouble is the landlord or the who basically whoever owns the house so if they choose to not do them checks that's on the landlord that's on them however 
Where in this new world, you already know Esau's going to switch it up so that everything is trackable. So that your agents, you know, your, your, your landlords, your estate agents aren't able to mix that up. Aren't able to push those things under the under the rug. And that's ultimately one of the ways, uh, e, uh, you know, E's going to push this, this chip, man. Uh, uh, we need to know, uh, you know, you get certain people that don't follow the rules, you know, harboring violent criminals or, uh, you know, people committing fraud. That came out today um in the uk right you know saying all of that to say this without this chip you ain't gonna be able to do shit, right you ain't gonna be able to do anything right it's gonna be a new form of identity identification right and they think about that you want to you want a job you gotta form you gotta show them the legal you gotta be like hey this is my passport but once again right the one who gets in trouble is the boss Right, so if you make it impossible for the boss to pay the employee without the chip, then the boss can't even do that. So everyone is going to be at the uh, beh behest. Is that the word I want? I don't know. Everyone's going to be, you know, under 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 this man. Right. It says respiratory condition back in the New York Post. A respiratory condition such as influenza, pneumonia, respiratory failure, respiratory arrest. As well as circulatory conditions such as hypersensitive disease, cardiac arrest, and heart failure are on the list. Other conditions include sepsis, diabetes, re re renal failure, and Alzheimer's disease. Right, so Alzheimer's disease that tells you that individuals, you know, is old. And once again, not to sound callous, right? You know, not to sound like you know being an asshole, right? But people who are old are more likely get to get taken out by things like flu. Yet, there's never been a lockdown for flu. Right? Yeah, so it goes on to say, uh, um, the counts are based on death certificates with the agency called the most reliable source of data. However, the provisional data is not yet complete. The counts are not final and they should not be compared across states. The agency warned, as of Monday, the US has surpassed 6 million coronavirus cases. And if you notice, once again, they keep talking about cases. A case doesn't mean anything, man. <laughs> right? Is you know you want to talk? Because I remember hearing oh, a thousand. Okay, I was I thought it was gonna say a thousand deaths. I was like, oh, okay, they're going back to that. No, talking about cases, man. Right? Um, yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson and his family have tested positive. You you never heard that. You know you, you don't hear the story about. Uh, you know, Barack Obama has has the flu. It's like, what are you talking about? Right, but once again, and this is actually the first scripture that I had. This is um Habakkuk two fifteen. Well, unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. Now, this is talking about philosophies, and with this whole Corona thing, Esau's pushed out a whole philosophy onto the world. Right, you know, you got people that will you know trying to buy designer masks and shit. You know that uh, uh, you know will fight, try fight you if you ain't wearing a mask. Right. You got now you've got all of these people that are, you know, uh, supposedly care about everyone. Oh, you need to be yet. Yeah, yeah, once again, they don't know the science behind anything that they're speaking about. Right. But it's all a part of Esau's wickedness and his witchcraft. Right. Um, says that puttest thou bottle to him and make him drunken also that thou mayst look on their nakedness. Right. Um, and actually, because I said witchcraft, cause that, which is that's one of the things I wanted to go into, right? How uh, it says that put us that bottle to so basically give them your philosophies. And you know, look, hey, you take some of my philosophies, right? That's why you get people all over the world scared about this corona shit, and it ain't even that deep, right? Um, what did I want to get? I was wanted to get Isaiah 47, right? Uh, I'll jump to the point. So Isaiah um, 47, I'm going to jump straight to the point of verse 12. So stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, right? So with your witchcraft, basically, man, right? Uh, 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 so stand with them because America will go and say that wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. So from the inception of America, it's been nothing but witchcraft, right? Now, to get everyone to believe in this falsehood is witchcraft, Right? That's what this man has uh, basically done to the people, which the apostle to heart. He gave an example of his woman where he would speak to his woman and be like, look, it ain't that deep. And then she'll get it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's not that deep. But then she'll watch the news and then that spell is cast on her again. Right. 
It says, um, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail, right? And Esau ain't going to prevail. In the time of destruction, your witchcraft isn't going to work for you, right? Here it is. You can use the witchcraft to fool these people, right? But the, the elect ain't going to be a fool, right? This, that's why the scripture says, um, we are not ignorant. Oh, no, that's not the one I want. It says, ah, what does it say? see the very elect yeah it says um matthew 24 24 for they shall arise false uh, anointed and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall see deceive the very elect so that kind of goes into something else right but the elect the elect ain't gonna be deceived man right because the lord is gonna you know open our eyes and that's that's why ultimately we've got we're as a body Right, because a one, 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 you know, stand of the apostle, of course, or one apostle, one elder, one brother might look the same situation a different way and then you know, reason on it. You'd be like, oh, okay, can I see what you said? This, that, and the other, will you reason on things spiritually, right? You know, our scripture says, watch and pray, right? Because we, in fact, it's in here somewhere. I'll forget where it is. Is it verse 13? Nah. I'll forget where it is. But yeah, as you know, we should, you know, so that's why we're commanded to watch and to pray, right? Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, Lord's all, you know, I was edifying. Like I said, I just wanted to go into that a little bit. You know, it's like if I was, you know, ranting a little bit. But, you know, it's, it, it annoys you, you know. At the end of the day, we, we, we understand, you know, the purpose and the reasoning. But it does annoy you sometimes, you know. Um, so as always, Lord's all, I was edifying until next time. Shalom.